Hi, my name is Rachel Woods, and I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas until whiskey shots become gunshots and concert music fades into desperate cries of panic, until it's inscribed in America's bloody history book next to Orlando and Columbine and Sandy Hook and Parkland and the 121 shootings that have terrorized this nation since I started writing this. Obituaries are piling up like failed legislation because even as bullets are still being pulled from warm bodies, we can't grasp the concept that something needs to change. We'd rather sit silently with our hands in our laps than raise our arms in protest for those forced to raise theirs in surrendering. Don't politicize tragedy, they say. Don't politicize tragedy means don't talk about solutions. Don't politicize tragedy means stop trying to prevent this from happening again and again. Don't politicize tragedy means think about the dead and not those still in danger. A funeral can't mean much if nobody's left to attend it. We get on our knees and pray instead of refusing to take this sitting down, but God forbid we get on our knees to protest. We've caught our congressmen red-handed from the NRA's blood money, and they stash their checks under travel bans, burying innocent bodies as a price they're all too willing to pay because in the end, they always come out on top. There is a problem when too many are quicker to defend the rights of the gun than the people it's pointed at, and you stand behind the terrorist every time you scream, guns are a right, but health care is a privilege. In this country, when one kid chokes on chocolate, we never see Kinder Eggs here again. But when 100 kids are shot in their classrooms, children are still staring down gun barrels because we'd rather write their eulogies than write a new amendment to the Constitution. The only lesson we're learning is assault rifles are valued over students' lives. We are not safe. We cower in fear at the thought of enjoying ourselves at movie theaters where we only remember the name of the villain while the anonymous heroes are barely hidden within the credits. We suppress ourselves in the dark instead of expressing ourselves at nightclubs where pride flags become red flags become white flags, yet the label hate crime is still too much for some to buy. Sitting silently has become more appealing than singing along to our favorite songs because too many have been plucked from the crowd like guitar strings snapping and screeching. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can hear a different melody and stop singing the same tune. We can amplify a message we're celebrating to, but we must be in harmony and make a symphony of noise so the Russian dictator of the United States will get off his golf cart and actually do something. Woo! Woo!